Dalton and Daniel Hermans. He throws it in the air now. And Hermans gets it down. Roved by Davis. Goes towards half forward. Mench goes back. Gets a hand to it. Can't take the mark. Coming across was Bowman. Left it behind in the end. The big fella, Menchie, over the top of it as well. Pushed backwards towards Ricky O'Toole at half back. He can't pick it up, so he just kicks it off the ground. It's intelligently to Marsh. Handball over the top to Ricky O'Toole. Back to the school schoolboy days. He goes with a left foot kick around the wing. That's a very good mark. Very good mark on centre wing. And they play on quickly through. Johnson goes towards half forward. Getting back there, Herman's going to drop behind the ball. He handballs it away to Van de Klooster, laterally to McKenzie. Just the three we spoke about. He's got Venables on centre wing. He'll have to be a good kick too. He just pops it up for him in front. Oh, Buckingham bears down. Venables ripped off the football. Punts out. There, oh, that's a nice punts too. He was down for a long time, the umpy. As well, we're the getting ball. to the finals now. Yep. That's how they get in. The biggest punts gets the game. <laughs> two sets of glasses. <laughs> Grubby, two sets of glasses on. They work well. Yeah. Buckingham goes towards Bolton, goes up, takes the mark uncontested, handballs it away to Johnson. Oh, oh had it, lost it. it and left it behind. He's got some support. Nico handballs it away to Parker off a step, long left foot kick, two on two. Primke and third in line. He couldn't get it. Now he, and Carr's there as well. Carr turns around, kicks the goal. Is it? Pretty oh, close. He's no, missed it. No. He's missed it. Well, if the Rob Murphy missed the one in first quarter, that was a miss. So well, Julian if Carr. Rob Murphy missed the one in the first quarter, that was out in the full. Two, 3 4 22 East Geelong, which you'll see 2 5 17. Two minutes played, second term. Grubby's last game today, too, by the sounds of it. Uh, Bayless now brings the ball in quickly, but uh, nobody there for Winch. It's all East Geelong. Oof. Bolton can't take the mark. Try to kick off the ground. Very scrambly, just outside the, the defensive 50. Ball comes out by hand to Minch. He feeds it out, gets the handball back, and runs as the ball now goes towards half forward. Oh, good mark. Winch Higgins. now playing in front, Higgins. He likes that uh, left-hander's flank, doesn't he? Comes back into the corridor. Gee, that's great work because uh, on his own there is Donald. Oh, oh terrific no. smother. That was by Watson. And uh, now the ball turned over to Ricky O'Toole. Oh, ducked his head into it. I wouldn't think he'd get a free kick for that. And he didn't. As uh, Mench now, the ball spilled clear. Has uh, picked up Mawson. Jesse has a bounce. Runs towards forward 50. Oh, he's run a long way. Gets the ball to the boot. He's missed, missed to the right-hand side. 17 Winch. Common Defeen Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. Three minutes gone. Bayless from fullback. He's got Hermans this side by himself if he sees him. Well, he took him an eternity, and then he kicked it nearly out of bounds. Well, it's OK. Hermans made up a bit of ground and took it at defensive 50 uncontested. Season makes up a bit of ground for him. He goes in that direction now. Johnson's with him. Season goes up, takes a good... Well, no, doesn't take the mark, says the umpire. And Johnson was better at the second attempt. Goes around the boundary line. Kicks it back. Good kick too. Jake Mawson takes the mark. 30 out from goal slide angle. All mistake from season. So Jake Mawson comes in. 30 out. Right foot kick. He's pushed it to the... Well, in fact, he hasn't even made the distance. Brad McKenzie's marked it on the goal Breathe line. Breathe easy as season for that one, mate. So McKenzie right in the last line of defence for the Blues. Oh, Candy gets around Nyko, goes with a kick out towards Wilson and also Van der Klooster at the back, Van der Klooster. Gets around a couple, then falls over, needs some support. Wilson ran away from him. And Mawson, Jesse, oh, Candy as well, goes back, right foot kick. He was smothered. Goes back towards home. That one was high. That was high. And he will take a free kick. A bit stiff to tackle because Mawson was on the way he down. He was on the way down, but, but he was, didn't but duck, yeah. It was there, definitely. Jesse Mawson, 50 out from goal. Left half forward flank. And I just want Jake Mawson didn't kick through the footy, no. and it's a bit leg that's very heavily bandaged. Yep. He's got the knee heavily bandaged. His brother here has got the ball 50 out from goal. Southern end of the ground. Gives it everything now. It's nice for distance, is it? Nope. It's off hands just short and through for one behind. So they go to 3-6-24 East Geelong. Winch will see 2 5 17. Common Affine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard, five minutes played. So it's Winch grubby if they're not kicking goals. Yeah, well, they're doing the same as what Winch did. So Bayless kicked to himself. Long kick outside that 50. Mark taken by Van der Kloester. Yes. He, he won't did. drop him. So Van der Kloester now along the boundary line. Back very, very close to the boundary line. Almost a free kick Winch there pushing the back. Umpire doesn't see it. Picked up uh, Johnson. Goes to Bolton. Can't take the mark. Herman's at the back. Picks it up. Off a step, goes towards half forward. O'Toole can't take the mark. Falls to Marsh. Marsh, oh, they're away east. Kick missed the target, uh, Johnson. Parker, however, comes back. He's doing very well. 
Johnson, he's sitting back 20 metres off, just screaming for it. Get in and get it, mate. Now he does. The ball falls to him. The free kick in the meantime has gone to Luke. Did he say what that free kick was for? And reversed it. And reversed it. The umpire did not see what happened then. He no. could not see it. Well, We were on the side that you could see it, and he guessed that. He was right, but he guessed it. Yeah. The free kick goes to Van der Kluster, who's out wide, finds Bonner, handball to McClure. They could, now this chance as Tornier goes long towards full forward. Gee, Venables one out against a couple back there. And uh, he does very well, but it comes out to Marsh. Now they're away. Mawson, Jake, is on his own centre wing. Takes the mark. Handballs to Johnson. Johnson there. Runs back into trouble. Has a bounce. Nobody goes towards him. Now he kicks towards half forward. Straight to Van der Kloos. The bounces bounce. over his head. Coming through is uh, Bolton, the big fella. Mawson, Jesse, he's in there also. But it's Van der Kloos to picks it up. Tackle immediately. Gets a handball away. And uh, in the middle of the ground, players working very hard. Winch, handball comes to Mench. A little chip pass. Does he find... No, he thought he'd found Wilson, but they've turned it over. It's, uh, Ricky O'Toole back towards half four. Oh, he'll beat he's taken the mark of the day for the Winch side on the half-back flank. Seven minutes gone in the quarter. 2-5 Winch. They trail East 3-6. Goes towards Hermans. Up the back, Ben Bowman. Can't take the mark off hands from McClure. Through the middle, Davis waits for it. Nice Geelong get it through Marsh out wide. Boundary throw in. Favours Williamson on the right side there. Leak puts the tackle on. Ball spills free. Mench handballs over the top to Leak. Runs along centre wing. Goes with a right foot kick. Chopped off though. Kane Marsh does nicely. Just holds the ball up. Kicks it along the line. Back towards centre wing. Williamson takes the mark uncontested. Mench stands the mark. Plays on now. Goes long towards half forward. Primke fourth in line. Up in, in the middle. Was that a mark? The umpire said no. Play on. And the pack develops. The umpire will come in and ball it up. 50 out from the East Geelong goal. Very close to a mark. It was Morrison, very close. Yeah. It? He was stuck in the middle of three or four talls. And he gets up with the footy. But not paid the mark. So a ball up. 50 out from the East Geelong goal. Hermans, big thump away towards the boundary line. Jesse Mawson leaves it for Bolton. The big fella can't pick it up at the first attempt. Then Mench calls for uh, holding the ball. Ball spill it, still in dispute. And the umpire will come in and ball it up again. 55 out from the East Geelong goal. They lead 3-6-24. Winch will see 2-5-17. Eight and a half minutes played second term. Did I tell you what a great job Wayne Moore and Kevin Kane do on the committee? They've been fantastic all year too. So Bolton, unopposed in the ruck, gets it down to Jake Mawson. Ball inside forward 50 for East now. Half forward flank, the kick. So it must have been off an East Geelong foot. Oh, he was thinking about coming back in towards the corridor. It'd be very dangerous down there. Now he decides to do the safe thing along the boundary line. Gee, the wind kept that... Uh, Really dropped vertically as Bolton. And now in fact, it was uh, Williamson in front of the pack. Takes the mark. Plays on quickly. Back into the corridor. Doesn't kick it well there. Davis almost the mark for Winch. Comes back at ground level. Threw the ball out. There's a whistle. Who's it going to? Davis. Davis, Davis by the looks of it. High tackle. Too high. So it is Davis with the footy. Uh, looking to make some changes. Uh, Venables is run, uh, running off the, the ground when, in fact, if he turned around, he'd get the footy. The kicker came across the ground to uh, Wilson. Which, Wilson's now got it. Oh, where's he gone? Back in the it corridor. Works, it'll be all right. Davis no. was running onto the footy but didn't get it, unfortunately. Now they've Too got high. another high tackle. Gee, there's some high tackles today. I think that's, I think that's so all he pays, that so umpire. So it could be. Bonner is the recipient. Now McClure has run forward. He's got Tournier running ahead of him. Gets a handball to him. Now the quick kick into the forward half. But, oh, well, Mark not taken in defence. There's some perhaps easy marks being uh, given there. There's a free kick free in the kick. back half. It's gone to East Geelong. Might have been held around the ankle, yeah, perhaps. He was, no doubt. So uh, the chip forward comes to Dylan O'Toole. Takes the mark. Almost centre half back. As East ring the changes. Sponner on the ground for his first run. Ball now towards centre oh, wing. Oh, he did have his eyes on the ball, that boy. Smolin gets the ball season. Keeps it in play along the boundary. 
That's a better effort, but uh, terrific work, Johnson, on that occasion. Inch. Mench in front, gets it towards Stephen, handballed it back towards Mench, got it towards Hermans, handballs it back to Stephen. Left foot kick around the corner towards half forward. Ricky O'Toole though back there, he misses it, needs the under pressure. Got Dunkley next to him, so over the boundary line. The umpire and Dilly got in. sucked in. No, he throw didn't throw it in. It in. <laughs> so now there's a change going to come there over the game. Go. Lowther on, this is what we want to see. Boundary throw in, left half forward. Winch will see into attack. Punched away by Bolton. Hermans, though, oh, had it, lost it. Need to keep his eye on it and put two hands on it, too. He's under pressure. Dylan O'Toole gets it away. Handball comes out towards Primke. Rides the tackle at centre wing. Goes towards half forward. McKenzie and Vanderclaw. Oh, Vanderclooster did well to keep Molen out of the way. And he gets back there, and McKenzie runs with him. Oh, dangerous. He gives it away to McKenzie by hand. He gets around, bit of candy. Oh, and then he gets leg. Then the oh. umpire says, play on. Gives it away to Van der Klooster. Dangerous kick across. It's okay, though. Bayless gets back there. Got it some time in the uh, right back pocket to take a bounce and settle things down. He's got McFarlane on a long lead. He goes in that direction now. In fact, it's further afield. Murphy takes the mark at half back. He draws a play. His handball was terrible to Tawny up. Sets him up. Now they've lost possession. Leg said the umpire. And it will be a free kick back coming back to Tawny up. So right half back flank. He's got the footy. For Winchell C. Goes long down the line towards centre wing. Big pack, Mench in the middle, can't take it. Second effort was all right. Tried to shuffle the ball out to Bonner. He leaves it in the end for McFarlane. Gives it away by hand to Stephen. Left foot kick to half forward. Coming out, Donald goes up. And second attempt takes the mark. Plays on at half oh. forward. Oh, kick into the man on the mark, though. Curlin tries to tap it on to Davis. He's going to be surrounded by Eagles. He rides the tackle and then loses the football. And Bowman runs through at half back. Gets the right foot kick towards centre wing. Parker behind Seasons there as well. McKenzie reads the play again. Right foot kick measures the pass. Nicely. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and had to wait, Stephen. He did. He took it against Bowman. Goes forward. Goes long. Up. Off the back of the pack. Handball. Comes out by Watson. They're away now. The Eagles. Ricky O'Toole to set the play up. Quarterback style again towards Marsh. Marsh can't take the mark. Murphy's right next to him. There's a foot race. They go out at a half forward. Marsh falls over. Pretty good to go and get it, get it back towards Sponner. He loses it, though. Under pressure from Bayless. Tornier comes in. He's ripped off the football by Lowther. And do they see it over the line? They do for a throw in in the second term. Probably done what they want to in 13 and a half minutes. Only four behind, Scrubby. Yeah, that's These, what they've got to uh, do. So Winch are holding them at this moment. That's what they've got to do, mate. So Just keep at it and so, at it and at it. So from the ball in, umpire puts a whistle on play. He's going to come in and uh, have a ball up between wing and half forward flank. What do you reckon, Jace? Well, they're doing all right here. They're doing okay. What, the two glasses? You're an idiot. <laughs> Hell, <tell> you. hey, <laughs> can't see a thing for either of them. <laughs> <laughs> From the ball up, the ball's come to uh, East Geelong through Johnson. Back towards centre half forward, McClure. Can't reach the footy for Winch. Back of the pack, McKenzie does well. Handball to Mench. Mench now. Long kick towards centre wing. Players come from a long way back. There's uh, well, a couple of players wrestling, I thought. No, no down so. early, yeah. So the uh, ball now back to the uh, forward. Oh, Van der Kloosten, almost a great mark. Gets tackled, breaks a tackle. Little chip pass. Gee, he's got two players in the middle. If the ball bounces, McFarlane. Bit of Shepherd Goes out wide. That's Here's a their good chance. Kick. Now there's a chance. He's got Donald going forward. Did he see him? Higgins, he does. Now run. Davis, kick so the Davis goal. So Davis it is. He Runs into the, the open goal and has... He's got it all right. Don't worry about that, Eric. Well, it took a long time. but it... Test. Molan got it down. Rove, though, by Stephen. Can give it away to Mench. And there it is. The big fella. Look at him. Gets it away towards half forward. But I think that's his opposite number there, Williamson, who takes the mark at half back for the Eagles. He chips the ball over the top to Primke. Takes it and plays on quickly. Goes through the middle. Right foot tumbling punt towards half forward. Might be all right. Coming back towards Wilson and Nyko. Wilson over the top of it. Ball in dispute. 45 out from the East Geelong goal. And Pack develops the umpire. We'll have to come in and ball it up. They don't get back there quick enough. So the ball spills towards McKenzie. Gives it towards Mench. Handball out towards Tornia. Sits for him at half back and he runs away. Goes to the right foot, kick to the middle. Dunkley goes up. Oh, it's the third, second attempt doesn't take the mark. His second effort was okay. He needs some support. Bonner goes through the middle. Not going anywhere. Fernandez puts the tackle on. 
And pack around those two again. The umpire will come in and ball it up in the middle. Well, I give a bit of a crack to court to Tornier in the first quarter for getting in the way a little bit. But by crikey, is this what you've got to give credit where it's due? He's played a pretty good second quarter. Ball up. Just Down. shows Fano knows nothing. Towards uh, Williamson. Now from the middle, Lauber. Long towards Carr. Hands in the back, umpire. Yes, yes, the umpire picked it. Hands in the back against Julian Carr and Byron Matheson in front. Will take the free kick. Fairly obvious, wasn't it? I think would have. <laughs> Would have thought so. Julian Carr looked a bit miffed, but I don't know why. So he kicks it outboard to Mench. He chips it over the top towards Season. Doesn't sit for him, though. Primke gets it. Can't keep it in, though. And out of bounds. Boundary throw in. Mench takes it out of the ruck contest. Right foot kick back towards his opposite number. Ricky O'Toole gets around a couple. Handballs it outboard. Off a step. Primke inside 50. Matheson comes out. Can't take the mark. McKenzie. Did uh, pretty well. Bonner in the front, under pressure. Handballs it outboard. It's okay to McKenzie again. Outside defensive 50. Chips the ball around the corner. The tawny of the man Grubby's talking about. He chips it back in board to Stephen. Had to sit and wait. It's a terrible oh, bad kick. kick. Oh, bad take kick. it back. I'll take and it back. And he goes at Jake Mawson. Handballs it outboard towards Primke again off a step. This one back towards Van der Kluister over his head. I oh, did oh. well. <laughs> he did very well to get back there, Tim Van der Kluister, and player. take the mark. And McKenzie's been good yeah, this quarter too. Yeah, they have been too. great, the two of them. That's who we really needed to play well to keep him out, and they're doing it. Short to Matheson, still inside defensive 50. He's got Tornier out further. He goes in that direction now. Under pressure from Johnson. He'll be able to take the mark. Bit of a hospital. Still outside defensive 50 for Winchell C. This is the kick they've had a bit of trouble with in the last three or four minutes. He chips the oh. ball over the top. McKenzie makes up a bit of ground and takes the mark at true <laughs> halfback. So... Wilson calls for it in the middle. Hermans is down there as well. He goes in that direction over his head, in fact. Bowman goes up, off hands, leak at the front. Bowman does pretty well and keeps it in and runs away and gets the kick away. Might be okay. Through the middle. Handball came back to Johnson. His handball back in board over the head. It was okay. Towards Parker. Needs to step back on his left. 65 out. Goes to the... That's a great kick and a great... Pu pass and a great lead from Ricky O'Toole handballs it over the top to Primke and the big fella runs in and kicks the goal so Simon Primke puts his first on the board, first for East in this still very very unselfishly give a goal away to Primke and that's what finals what he's all about. Well Ricky won out in a one on one contest, very hard to hard beat up to there. beat. In the middle, ball comes clear for East along again, taken by uh, Fernandez. chips it out wide, Dylan O'Toole, Mr Mark comes back to looking for it uh, oh. Ball bounces well for uh, O'Toole. Oh, lucky to get away with that one. Stephen has the ball. He tackled. Gets it over to... Uh, oh, they're mucking about with it. McKenzie misses it. Now it's out wide. Coming through is Mawson. Has a bounce. He's going to have to have another bounce. He's going to have to run a lot closer than this to goal. But he hooks it around the shoulder. Oh, Primke was on his own. Handball over the top. With Bayless has gone back there. And now drives it towards 50, under pressure. Mawson didn't take the mark. Tornia, handball to McClure. Got it to Bonner, out wide to Tornia again, who followed it up. He's at half back. Kicks it close to the man on the mark, and it holds up in the breeze. Curlin, front and centre was okay from Bonner. Held on to after he got rid of the football. Umpire said it's okay. Fernandez gets it back towards Nico at 50. Takes the mark. Oh, hand they're everywhere here. Board. Primke have to go back and get it. Close to the boundary line. Oh. Doesn't sit for him. And he's and also Bolton. Mench gets it down. Big thump away. Wants the boundary line. Primke, though, chops it off. Kicks it back towards the square. Mench runs back with a flight of the ball. So does Bonner. Which way does it bounce? It bounces out towards Venables. Oh, that was a high tackle. The umpire said play on. Comes back towards Parker. Candy, candy. Left foot kick. Short towards Wilson. It goes up. Play on, said the, the umpire. Must have been touched off the boot and held to him. And 30 out from East Goal. We will have a ball up. 4 7 31, the Eagles. Winch 3 5 23. 22 and a half minutes played second term. So, yeah. not opportunity here for East Grubby. A goal now would be uh, very helpful for them. Well, I was just about to say the opposite. Winch have to hold on now for the final few minutes. Well, I think that's fair enough, too. But, oh, the ball. Spilled out there to Baden Sponner. He's had a pot shot from 25 out and has missed. 4 8 32 East. 3 5 23 Winch. Common Defeat Hotel second quarter scoreboard. 23 minutes gone. The kick comes in for Winch. will see it. Finds Holmes. Half back flank. Don't run away from it, mate. And she's got the win against the wind. So Holmes now. It's ooh, not a good looking kick. In fact, it's uh, over the head of his teammate and Parker, who's having a great game, plays on, comes in board, kicks towards the goal square. 
Ball back there. It's off how comes into the arms of Mawson. He's tackled immediately. Where's the umpire? Ball spills out to uh, Sponner. Oh, he's oh. had a shot from the goal square. And uh, has he scored anything? Nope. He has. A oh, point. So another behind to Sponner. He's kicked the last two. Four goals, nine, 33. I miss Robbie Chamberlain a fair bit too. He's a really good player. So Bayless with the king in duties again. Ooh. Long towards Curlin, Dunkley, Molan as well. They go up off hands. Side of the pack handball. Molan gets a kick away towards the square. And is it out of bounds on the full? It is Ricky O'Toole can't keep it in. So Bayless will kick from the back pocket. And called to play on now. Goes, well, with a terrible kick off the boot. Might fall that, into that, Tim Van der Kloos's arms. That wind's pretty strong, Yeah, it I is. Think. Stephen gives it away to Venables by hand and then pass season and they leave it behind. 23, 25 minutes played, second term. So the ball comes in, falls to uh, Mawson. He can't control it. Comes to Stewart. Handball out wide. Molan tries to uh, evade a tackle. Can't do so. The ball uh, very close to the boundary line with uh, about eight or nine players on top of it. Almost like a rugby scrum. Now the umpire blows the whistle. And we'll have a ball up just inside the boundary line, just inside forward 54, East Geelong. Kicking with the breeze in this second quarter to the Buckley's end. Umpire moves in there, puts it in the air. Curlin probably got the tap down. Nobody can get hold of the footy at ground level. Now there's a, uh, a whistle on play. Kick and he's reversed it, I think. Free kick originally to Winchelsea, and I'm not too sure who's eventually ended up with the... Uh, Jesse okay. Mawson. It certainly uh, it was a reversal. He paid hold the man and something happened under that pack. I think it might have been Venables and he's reversed the decision. So, now we'll have uh, Mawson. Barely catch up with him. He's out of my vision, but we'll uh, catch him now as he moves into vision. It's a good looking kick, but it's to the right hand side. So, Jesse Mawson has kicked his third behind for the day. 4 10 34 East. 3-5-23 winch. Coming to Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard now. 26 minutes gone. Ball kicked in. Back towards defensive 50 for Winch. will see. Tawny couldn't take it. Buckingham's there as well. Pack develops around them. The umpire will come in and ball it up. So a ball up. Oh, well, favours Curlin. He could have nearly taken it out of the ruck contest. No talking. And Primke can't see it over. And Tornier got pushed off the footy as well. Boundary throw in. He certainly got it. Yes. <laughs> Curlin up against Carp. There's the siren. Jeez, Jeez. Short, short, first, short second term, 27 <laughs> minutes. But I suppose there was only a uh, couple of goals. 4 10 34 East Geelong. They lead Winchell C 3 5 23. One goal.